Good morning. It's Wednesday, August 19th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, God's Surprises, and our scripture is from Psalms, Isaiah chapter 66, and also Matthew's Gospel, chapter 8. The psalmist writes, I will count Egypt and Babylon among those who know me, also Philistia and Tyre, and even distant Ethiopia. They have all become citizens of Jerusalem. Regarding Jerusalem, it will be said, everyone enjoys the rights of citizenship there. And the Most High will personally bless this city. When the Lord registers the nations, he will say, they have all become citizens of Jerusalem. The people will play flutes and sing, The source of my life springs from Jerusalem. Then the prophet Isaiah writes, As surely as my new heavens and earth will remain, so will you always be my people with a name that will never disappear, says the Lord. All humanity will come to worship me from week to week and from month to month. Then the gospel writer Matthew the tax collector writes this, and I tell you this, that many Gentiles will come from all over the world, from east and west, and sit down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob at the feast in the kingdom of heaven. There are way too many to count. All those little hints in scripture that we humans are miles off course when it comes to living out God's plan for humanity. These three little samplings of today's readings, the psalm, the prophet, and the gospel, are a stark contrast to the way we see things in the 21st century. The cultural lens, particularly in government, colors everything in hues of friend or foe. Consider the evidence. Central Intelligence Agency, National Security Agency, Homeland Security, Republicans, Democrats, Libertarians, Independents, born and bred in this region or that, and fiercely loyal within, citizens by birth, naturalization, or illegal alien, black, white, Hispanic, Asian, whatever. On the religious front, there's also the kind of division that makes heaven weep. Friend or foe separation is endemic to belief systems. Christians, Jews, Muslims, atheists, along with the agnostics and indifferentists, are only a starting place. From there, we separate into what kind or brand. In Christianity, there's Calvinism, Arminianism, free will, independent, Roman Catholic, and a thousand other choices. And don't even get me started on the denominations within the brands. And where did it all come from? Our division comes from the perception that the other person is either just plain wrong or just doesn't get it all quite right. And so you have people separating from each other, building bigger walls, wider divisions, longer tunnels of doubt and suspicion. And then there's God in heaven, perhaps with a tear in his eyes, but unworried. And what God said through the psalmist, the prophet, and the gospel writer is that someday God will bring together all those who have so successfully divided themselves from each other, and every dividing thought will melt into a wisp of thin air. Every harsh idea will crumble like Babel's tower, and brothers will be reunited like Jacob and Esau, falling on each other's necks, glad to be together. There will be singing of a new song, dancing to match the angels' clapping time and newness to fellowship that will not disappear ever. This is something we can never do here. All we can do is point to it in faith and lift our collective little voices and pray, even so, come, Lord Jesus. For you today. After you're done reading this devotional or listening to it, take a few more moments to go back and read today's full lection, Psalm 87, Isaiah 66, and Matthew 8. And as you read, open the lens in your heart that sees with the kind of love God has for everyone, and measure that against some of the things you've either been taught or have come to believe about others. And then spend a little quiet time, not speaking, 
just being silent and listening for that still, small sound of sandaled feet coming near. God has some surprises in store for us. Don't let the sounds of hatred, violence, and greed drown out the good news. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.